Good morning. We're going to go through how to score open response questions on TestWiz. If you would like to find a help document that will take you through step by step, once you log in, you go to Help Documents, scroll down, and select Entering Test Scores or Item Responses. And it will basically take you through the steps that I am taking you through today going to click on utilities. When you are scoring your test, your open responses, this is after your students have completed their assignments, you will go to enter scores or responses under the test management tab. It will bring you this screen. You will select your test that you have, that you would like to score. Select your test administration, which is basically which assessment, if I've given two different um, ELA assignments or assessments, you can select the one that you would like to grade at this time. Grade override, this should just populate on its own. Teacher type. And then your district should automatically populate as well. And then you should select your test. Click Next. It will give you a list of all your students and the different questions that are open response. First thing you are going to do, there's a little caveat here with this. I'm not going to have any responses because I have no students. So you're going to click on the little edit. This will bring you your rubric and your student response. So your student response should be typed in this box over here. The rubric gives you a guide on what is expected in this in this open response based on the passage. So you will determine, you will read your student answer, determine based on the rubric, the score, you will enter the score and then save and it should show up here. You're going to do that for each one of your open responses. Your nudge is to let you know that you've got more questions that maybe you haven't scored yet. You're going to go through score all and then click next. Now you can stop midstream I do wish to proceed. And it will tell me that my scoring is complete. And then I can go, I can select another class, I can select another assessment, and start the same process again. Those will then, once you have all of these scored, they will populate into the student report, which then you will need to go pull them off of your student report. When you create your report, you will select your assessment and you will be able to see how your students did across the board. That was just a quick identification on how to score your open response questions. Now. If you are at a point where you don't know how to create an open response assessment, if you go into test specifications, create, you're going to go through this just like you would any other test creation. I'm going to do open response. If I want to create just an open response test, do this for 8th grade. Select your item bank, 
going to navigate, select subject, English language arts, eighth grade should populate for me. The next, I want to do writing processes, writing modes, information fluency. Maybe that's what I want to assess. Because then once you select your subsections, it will create, I'm just going to do all standards for these so that I can make sure that I do have some open response questions. Notice all of these are going to be open response. So I'm going to do a quick test builder. You can select passage related to test questions or select non-passage related test questions based on standards. I'm going to do that one. In this particular situation, there are 25 possible open response questions. I'm going to do five. And I only want five questions. Build my test. Here are my, notice it says right over here, these are all open response. You'll be able to read the prompt look at the rubric and determine if this is the response that you want. Online preview. We'll see what your students. Here is their prompt. And they will type in that in the text box. You can delete, add from this place. Remove and add test questions. And then just like anything else, just like the other assessments, you're going to publish this assessment. Do that through create, edit, delete. Create test administration. Always pushing create because that's basically your save. Now I'm going to return. I need to get my test online. Set up my edit or my test ticket. I'm good to go. And now I am ready to print my online tickets. Select an administration. I want to give my open response. I'm going to do it this spring for grade eight. It's important that you put grade eight. These two need to match. And it will populate the person that's creating the test. And you want to create your online tickets. This concludes my quick, short, how to score your open response test questions. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. This is Laura Lynn O'Keefe at ESU8. Have a great day.